But the scary part about it is that this is the tip of the iceberg. This is just one facet. The, Th the Flynn case is horrible, but it's part of an ongoing, I think, conspiratorial act that was designed to take down the President of the United States. If you look at the Papadopoulos thing, if you look at the FISA court thing, you look at the original investigation of Hillary Clinton, all the players were there for all of those. Yep. And they clearly, they clearly had a motive, and uh, it's not good. And I, I think it's criminal. And I hope that Durham goes after these guys and let justice uh, let justice take place here. You know, Flynn's lawyer, Sidney Powell, told us last night that the Obama administration and the FBI were trying to trap and trap and coerce Flynn to get him to plead guilty to a crime in order to flip Flynn to turn him and get damaging information to use against Trump for the Russia collusion probe. Uh, so it seems like they were trying to not investigate a crime, but cook up one. I mean, Sidney Powell now says even there are even more damaging documents coming showing further FBI abuse. What's your reaction? Well, first of all, the FBI's job is to investigate crimes. It's not to cause somebody to lose their job. And clearly that was their, that was their motive here. Um, th this is a horrible situation. And I think you have to remember that an indictment, to defend an indictment in federal court is going to cost the subject over a million dollars to defend that. Who has that kind of money? And then you throw on top of that, they're threatening to indict his son? I mean, I, you can understand why he was intimidated, as strong as he is, into pleading guilty to a crime he never committed. And remember, the FBI agents on the interview said he did not lie. He told the truth. So how did we get there? And I think we know how he got there. We just pushed yeah. it. The, the bureau pushed it. And by the way, this wasn't an FBI case. This is a James Comey case. They didn't let FBI agents do this case. Let's get to the timeline events. Okay, January 4th, the documents show the FBI was going to close the investigation into Flynn, but then Peter Strzok intervene, intervened, told Flynn's case agent to keep it open, don't close it, because, quote, the seventh floor, meaning senior leadership, wanted it to stay open. The FBI was saying, listen, there's no, quote, derogatory proof that Flynn is a viable candidate for the Trump-Russia probe. Then the next day, so they keep the Flynn case open. The next day, January 5th, James Comey briefs President Obama, briefs Vice President Joe Biden, other officials, about his plans to talk to Trump about the now-debunked steel dossier at Trump Tower in Manhattan. And then, and then the next thing that happens, they set up this plan to give Flynn the pretense of a defense briefing on Russia, right. the documents show that basically William Priestap, thought to be the official in this, was worried the FBI was, quote, playing games with Flynn, saying, quote, what's our goal here? Truth or admission to, or to get him to lie so we can prosecute him or get him fired? Those are direct quotes. Your reaction? Oh, my gosh. Again, they're supposed to investigate crimes, not create crimes. And the president of the United States should have had a defense briefing. I've been part of those before. That's exactly what should have happened here. But they had a motive. They had a goal, and that was to flip Flynn or to coerce him, which they tried, into testifying falsely, probably against the president of the United States. So this is a huge conspiratorial act. It goes on for weeks and weeks and weeks and months. And I, I really do, again, I'll say it one more time, I hope, I hope Durham goes after these guys. I don't want to see anybody get indicted, but if the evidence is in there, let's see what happens. All right, then Peter Strzok, here's the next thing that happened. Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, <laughs> who was advising Andrew McCabe, debated whether and when to give Flynn his Miranda warning against self-incrimination at his January 2017 interview. I mean, that clearly shows this interview was about prosecuting Flynn. Again, Flynn did not have a lawyer present. And then former FBI Director James Comey authorizes sending the agents, including Strzok, over to the White House and didn't tell the White House Counsel's Office about it. I mean, Comey admitted that he didn't follow protocol here and that he could get away with doing that, saying it was not something I probably wouldn't have done or maybe have gotten away with in a more organized administration. Your take on that? Well, first of all, it's interesting that these people recorded their criminal activity. Those notes, and also go back to the original uh, text messaging, record, I think records a criminal conspiracy. It's almost like they're trying to do a coup here. 
And it, it's outrageous to me that the FBI, not the FBI, that James Comey would use his color of office to deny not only General Flynn, but also anybody involved in that wiretap their constitutional rights. That's called a constitutional tort. And their remedy is, uh, frankly, uh, civil litigation. And, and they can be sued for that. But more importantly, the color of office thing is a civil rights violation, and that's criminal. And I think yeah, I think they start with that. Yeah. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, final word on this. So I want your reaction to this. Senator Chuck Grassley is saying, throw the book at these guys. He's saying hold them accountable because James Comey later said that the FBI quote saw nothing that led them to believe that Flynn was lying and that he didn't believe the DOJ would even charge Flynn. Do you think that they should throw the book at him? Well, I think exactly. He think, I think Senator Grassley's right. I actually know him. And um, th this was criminal, in my view. It, 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 it is the most uh, egregious thing I've ever heard of anybody doing uh, in, under color of office to, to go after. It's not just the fact that General Flynn is a general. He's a person. He's a U.S. citizen. And I think that the fact that, that they went after him like this, and, and I think they tried to entrap him. I think they did entrap him. And uh, I don't think there's a perjury there. And I, I would like to see this whole case thrown out. And then I would like to see a pardon if that doesn't work. But it's, it's, it's egregious, and we need to, we need to remedy the, the harm here. That's really important. And also, we need justice. The FBI agents need to know that even their leaders need to follow the law. Danny Colson, you're great. Come back soon. Thanks. I always enjoy it. Good to see you healthy.